Ugmund Coldwind and the White Hare. A story from the Coldwind clan folktales. Ugmund Coldwind was laying under a tree in the white soft snow of the north. He was resting for the day in the warm sun, only interrupted occasionally by light snowfall. That was until a small white hare jumped up towards him. Ugmund looked at the creature and it at him. And then it spoke. You are Ugmund Coldwind, the legendary warrior hero. Ugmund smiled and replied, And you are a snow white hare. The hare's ears rose up. That's right, and I bet I could beat you in any challenge. Is that so? said Ugmund. I'll accept your bet if you manage to get me up from this comfortable spot. The hare didn't even hesitate as it leapt forward and kicked the tree, causing a lot of snow from its branches to fall onto Ugmund, who immediately angrily rose up. But before he could take action, the hare said, And so you are up. Are you ready for your first challenge? A bit miffed, Ugmund would brush the snow off his clothes and nod at the hare. What is your first challenge then? The hare would jump ahead of him, drawing a line in the snow with its feet. We run from this line down to the river, and the first there wins the challenge. They both readied themselves and ran as fast as they could down the hill towards the river, not too far from there. Ugmund ran like no man ever had run before. The wind was no match for his speed, and his sight became blurred. But when his feet touched the water, he saw the hare already on the other side sitting. You have to be faster than that to beat me, the hare said. What is your challenge now? Ugmund thought for a while, and then, after recovering his breath, he remembered that he was the fastest at digging. We each dig a hole until we hit the stone, Ugmund told the hare. They both got ready and dug, and Ugmund, with his great strength and speed, dug, and uncovered snow, then grass, then dirt and mud, until he hit the stone. But when he looked up, the hare had already jumped out of its hole, that was not only down to the stone, but also much deeper than that of Ugmund's. That was a close one! said the hare. My turn to pick a challenge. I bet I can hide better than you. Ugmund agreed to the challenge, and the two agreed he'd hide first. Ugmund hid in the snow, covering himself with a layer of snow, making sure not to breathe or make any movement. Then he waited, and waited, for hours until he no longer could hold his breath. As he moved to take a new breath, he could hear the hare say, Oh, there you are! And in the next moment, he was uncovered and found. Next, the hare hid, and Ugmund, known for his ability to track and find prey, went to search. He looked for hours, then hours more, until darkness fell, and with no other choice he'd yell, I can't find you, hare! You win! The hare, who had been hiding next to him, would come out of the snow next to his foot and jump around in joy. We'll continue with more challenges tomorrow, said the hare with joy as it jumped around Ugmund. That night, Ugmund couldn't get any sleep. He lay awake, trying to figure out how to beat the hare. What was it he could do against the hare's speed? Then it hit him and he knew what to do. The following morning, Ugmund was woken up by the jolly white hare, who was still gleefully dancing around. The next challenge, Ugmund began, is going to be to jump over this canyon. Ugmund pointed at a nearby canyon, and the hare made an extra jump of excitement and ran off towards it. Little do you know I am the best at jumping! shouted the white hare as it leapt over the canyon. But only as it was about to hit the ground did it realize its mistake. For there, on the other side where the hare was about to land, lay a trap, 
and the hare fell right into it. Ugmund would calmly walk around the canyon and grab the trap with the hare inside. You may be fast and quick, little hare, Ugmund said, carrying the hare towards his camp. But you are also about to become my dinner. And as Ugmund said this, he looked at the hare and saw the fear in its eyes. And perhaps you'll make some fine white gloves as well. Ugmund started to whistle as he readied the fire. And the white hare could beat him in challenges no more. <laughs>